Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I uh, will be walking you through a, a powerful way to create your very own ebook from start to finish using Canva. Now I understand that creating ebook can feel overwhelming, but I assure you that with Canva AI tools, AI features that you'll be learning in this tutorial, you'll find it easier, faster, and even a little fun. So let's dive right in. So the first step in this tutorial is to get our content ready. So let's go to document. So we can generate a title because we don't have a title for this ebook yet. So we'll be asking AI to help us with titles. So let's describe what we want. Suggest titles. Titles for an ebook on personal personal growth. So here is our prompt. let's see what we have so we have about 10 suggestions so we'll go ahead go ahead and choose one from the 10 so i think i prefer this one empower yourself a personal growth handbook so let's come down here and then go back to magic right and enter another prompt generate a table of content for get on I think that's the right on the title and paste our title so here we have our title I mean table of contents generated so the next thing we will do is to go ahead and generate the rest of the content. So we'll start with introduction, and then I'll show you how to generate the introduction, chapter one and two, and then you can go ahead and do the rest for yourself, just for you to see how you can get around this. So let's come back here, come down here, and then go back to Magic Write, generate the introduction. Just a simple prompt because it already knows that we're generating based on the title we selected. So it's going to generate an introduction on the title. So here, here we have our introduction. So if you look at the subheading we have on introduction, you see that we have understanding personal growth, the importance of self empowerment. So here we have it, understanding personal growth, the importance of self-empowerment. So we can go ahead and also ask for chapter one. So let's come down here, click on magic rights, and then enter a prompt, generate chapter, chapter one. So we have chapter one. Chapter one done. Now you know how you can generate the rest of the content. So I think this is enough for what we want for this tutorial. So now we have a part of our content ready. Let's now go ahead to design our ebook title, I mean ebook cover, and then arrange the rest of the items. So let's search for ebook, ebook cover. Searching for ebook cover on the Canva templates because we want to be using the Canva template. But let's start with a, a blank page. So, creating a blank page. So, here is a, a blank page. I'll be using this template here. I recently used it when I was trying out this. So, we'll now enter a title which is Empower Yourself. Empower Yourself. And then enter the second part of our title, which is a personal growth handbook. Now let's edit this, I mean, customize this, push it down a little. And then this line above it, let's take it up. And then take this up a little more. 
we don't need we don't need this thing here so we'll remove it so we may we may okay i think we we can leave this here just bring it down so here we have our title empower yourself a personal growth handbook we can decide to leave this out or change it much later but for now that's not our interest so the next thing we will do here is to get a introduction or table of contents so copy our table of contents for our ebook and then paste it there so let's get our test and then paste now we can reduce this the font size to let's say 20 then change the alignment to left alignment we still need to reduce this let's reduce to 14 ebook font size doesn't have to be that big we also need to change the the font to are we using montserrat 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 regular. I need to zoom in on this. So you can see that a part of our table of contents didn't it wasn't contained in this. So I'm going to copy or delete that part and then move it to the next page. Alternatively, I'll just duplicate this. I'll just duplicate this page. And then I think that's what I should do so that we'll maintain the same the same font formatting that we did. So let's delete. This is our page two. I need to close this up and then zoom in. I'll delete some part of this. So this is our table of contents. I reduced. I had to reduce the font size to twelve. And then leave a little space in here so we can add the page number by the side. So this is what we have now as a table of content. So I'm going to duplicate this page, the last page here, so we can start our introduction. I already copied the introduction, so I'm just going to paste it here. And then increase. I need to change this alignment to, to this one. So now we have a proper alignment with our font size still 12. So let's give a little spacing, just a little formatting and that will be it. So we can, we can decide in this book, we can decide to remove a part of this book. We just want this introduction to be in a single page. So let's see, let's see if we can remove this part and then so it all depends on what you're creating you can have your introduction in more than one page but i just want mine to be in just a single page so i need to get a test so we can write ahead in here introduction reduce the font size to, to 16 or 14 Let's see 14. Let's leave the alignment to left. So I'll need to change this one. I want my the fonts for this ebook to just be a single font. So I'll be using Montserrat all through. So this is cool. Now I also need to bold this. Make it bold. The stop heading. And also this one here. Bold it. So you just format to your taste how you want it. So this is how I want my ebook to appear. So I need to duplicate this page and then begin my chapter one. So I'll just duplicate and copy my chapter one and paste it. So because I know my chapter one will not will not be contained in a single page, so I'll just copy a part of it. And then let's paste and move this chapter one 
away from here, it should be here. Now let's go ahead and format our uh, chapter one. Let's change the alignment to left. Paste it here. And we need to remove the board from this part of the chapter. And then give the spacing. So we have space here and we need to fill it up with content. So let's add more content here. I need to duplicate this before deleting the part of the content that's overflowing. So we can delete from here. Then come here and make sure that we delete the parts we already have above. And then in this chapter, because it's a continuation of the last page. So this is it. So we'll continue to add more content until we are done with chapter one. Our chapter one is done. So this is what we have for chapter one. We have about three pages for chapter one. So this is what it looks like. And let's see the rest of the, what we have created. So this is what we have so far. Now, with what you have learned from this tutorial so far, you should be able to generate the rest of the content for your ebook. So, what I'm going to show you now is a new feature Canva recently introduced this October, and that is page number. It's here. So, we're going to add page numbers to our ebook. Before now, it used to be very difficult to. You have to manually add page number to your ebook, but with this introduction latest feature. It's not easy to do that. So what we're going to do is to go ahead and select page numbers. So we have about eight pages and then we need, we don't want our cover page to be numbered. So we're just going to remove the cover page. The rest of the pages should have page number. So we'll click on done. And now we have a page number on all the pages apart from the cover page. So here we have page seven and eight. So this is it about our ebook. When you're done with your ebook, you can download it from here. You go to share. Of course, it should be a PDF. If you have plans of uploading it on a digital on a digital marketing platform where you can sell your digital products, so you can download it from here. You click on download, and then download as a PDF. You should download as a PDF, so you can have it on your saved locally on your system. So you'll be able to upload it wherever you want to. So this is just it about this tutorial. I believe you learned something valuable and um, I'm sure you should be able to create that ebook that you've been dreaming of with this step, with the steps I've shown you so far. So this is it. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.